Hey guys and dolls, welcome back to Danimal Sound, and this is Danny Lee. Doing a quick video here on pseudo stereo tracks and redundant mono tracks, if you will. I'll show you how to treat those in just a second. Uh, first thing I want to focus on, this is a client mix I'm working on for a local talent, a uh, super talented guy. I won't release his name as of yet. But right here, he's bounced out quite a few tracks from what was originally a Logic session. And this, for example, is labeled 12 string guitar, but it's not actually a stereo track despite what you see before you. I'm unsure at this point whether it's that was a uh, mistake in bouncing on the artist's part from Logic or if it was actually recorded with uh, two signals going to the, to the same track, which happens in some cases. But what we have here at any rate, we have basically what's actually a mono signal, and it's been duplicated into, into a stereo track, essentially. So you've got identical information on both sides. And as I zoom into the waveform, you can see that clearer here. All the peaks, all this stuff, the waveform is identical on both sides. And the audible result in that is if you're listening on some stereo headphones right now, or I mean, uh, like studio headphones right now, or on good speakers, you'll notice that it doesn't sound stereo. The signal is still just going right up the center of the image. Now what I want to do is, I want to take this stereo track, I want to make it into two mono tracks, back to really how it should be since it's, a, it's really only one source that's been doubled. Because what can happen is when you go to mix this, or when I go to mix this, if I don't take care of this now, when I go to say if I want to do some pan automation for instance, in Pro Tools, the pan is split to left and right separate. So then I would have to actually go through here and pull these individually. Uh, the left and right channels. Plus you've got all this other information that's just kind of redundant because as I said before, it's really only a, a mono source that's been doubled to look stereo even though it's not actually. So what I want to do here is I'm going to get out of this, go back to waveform view. I'm going to take this channel. I'm going to go up to where it says 12 string guitar in the uh, channel strip name. In Pro Tools I'm going to right click and bring down this drop down menu and you'll see this option here, split into mono. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now Pro Tools has made two individual mono tracks based off of this stereo track. So I've got individual left and right to play with now. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this guy up here. Keep these soloed. And as you can still hear, it's right up the middle. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this right channel, hit hide and make inactive, and now I've just got the, uh, the single original track. Now I can show you, uh, I can pan this around at my leisure. Oops, I meant to solo that. And now you can move this around freely and you're not worried about anything being uh, fishy in there with two separate channels. But as you can tell, it's definitely a mono track originally. Alrighty. So I'm actually going to go up here and hide and make an active for that guy. So this is our 12 string uh, guitar track. And the next thing I wanted to show you real quick is uh, basically doing the reverse. Let's do this with the uh, with the low strings. Yeah, this is the other thing I wanted to show you. So our original, I've already done this in the session. What we've got here, we've got individual tracks of the low strings essentially, the low symphonic strings. I'm just put these to the same output so we can see what I'm talking about here. I'm going to go ahead and solo this. So what we're doing here 
is uh, I've got separate left and right source channels that are mono from the artist. And uh, this is kind of the opposite problem. What I have here is if I want to pan or do anything like that, or put plugins on, for instance, do an EQ, compression, etc., etc., I have to do that for both tracks all the time, and that's just going to double up my CPU usage and my time and take up real estate on my screen. Let's put this over to the right here. And as you can see, it's a nice stereo image with these strings. But what I want to do is I want to consolidate these into uh, a single stereo track. I've already done that here, but what I'll show you right now is how to do that quickly and effectively. So they've got it labeled uh, bass strings left and right. And I believe this part right here means bounce in place from uh, Logic. But I've renamed this low string here. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete this for argument's sake so I can show you from scratch. So I've made this low string uh, new stereo track. That's going to be the destination track for these two uh, mono guys. And without re-recording anything or making anything new from scratch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take select this uh, clip here, this region, then I'm going to hit shift and then click on this guy so they're both one and the same. And then without moving my mouse too much, well, the, I've got the waveform starting at the beginning of the session, so moving in, things around in the timeline isn't an issue at the moment. So I'm just going to hit Alt or Option on my Mac keyboard, hold that down, grab these, and just drag them to the next track, and Pro Tools takes those and automatically, with its algorithms and whatnot, puts these together as a new stereo track. So now let's mute these and see what we have. Solo these guys. And now we have a single track that I can go ahead and, you know, instantiate and EQ on and uh, go ahead and play with it at my leisure. You know, do all my EQ moves and whatnot. It seems, it seems terribly simple when you look back at it, but the argument here is I only have to do it once because I've combined these to a stereo track. And I don't have to go up here and double up my plugins and my inserts and all that because I've consolidated them. So we've got this track here with the consolidated low strings. And as you can see around the, the rest of the session, I've got some vocals I still have to do that too and whatnot. But uh, this is the prime example right here. Alrighty, I'm off to mix this song. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can find me on uh, dannylee.co. That's D-A-N-N-Y-L-E-E -E dot C-O. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.